What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Builds with Joe. We're back on our Tamiya 148 scale BF109E, and today we're going to push forward and hopefully get a little bit more work done. Now, last time we put together the fuselage and took care of the rest of the cockpit, and it is looking pretty decent. We are good with that, so I think right now we're going to move on to the wings. That's kind of the next major assembly here. Otherwise, though, I think we are looking pretty good. A lot of the parts have fit together just beautifully. The level of detail on this kit is absolutely stunning. I love it. And I know it's one of their older kits too, but still, it hasn't lost much with age. Now, on the wings, we have pretty much a very standard setup. We've got our bottom part of the wing, which is all one piece. Then we have our top halves on the right and the left side. So nothing much there. We do also have some dropped flaps, so that's going to be interesting. And we have some oil coolers and whatnot. So let's go ahead, queue up that time lapse, and get this thing all assembled. Let's do it.
I have to tell you guys, this kit is going together beautifully. There's something about a model kit when it just is going together and everything fits and it's just looking great. You just want to build more and more and more. So this is one of those kits. I'm having a blast. We went ahead and glued on the front and the rear part of the canopy, leaving the center section off right now. We're going to go ahead and come back a little bit later and mask that all off so that we can overcoat the entire aircraft in some sort of primer coat before we get a chance to go ahead and start painting. Before that, we're going to have to go ahead and work a little bit on more fidgety parts. Like, for example, here, the landing gears, the wheel bay covers, the wheels, propellers, front chin, and also front nose as well. So all that has to be put together before we can just go ahead and prime the entire aircraft. Now, on the landing gears, they are looking pretty decent. There's a very large locating tab that fits right up inside. Not a problem. Beautiful, beautiful construction. Let's go ahead and just glue those together, and we can move on. Now, on the propeller, we do have a little bit more of a seam line than we've had on other parts. It's just a little bit here right around the collar. We need to go ahead and remove some of that. I'm not sure if you really see it, though. I mean, to me, it has a very nice habit of putting locating pins and seams and whatnot kind of in areas that would be hidden normally and you wouldn't really be able to see. But I think this is actually pretty noticeable. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife. We're just going to sand this down a little bit. I'll grab a jeweler file that has kind of a contoured shape. and We'll get it in there and really make sure that we remove that little bit of a seam line. But for the most part, this is the only part that I have seen that has any sort of major seam lines or that requires a lot of extra work. So, so far we're looking pretty stellar. And I got to tell you, this kit is so much fun. If you haven't built one of these, I highly recommend you go out, you grab one and just have a blast with it. Unlike some of the other kits that I've read about, the Tamiya kit is supposed to have a fairly accurate front cowling. I know some kits like the Hasegawa kit and I think a few other kind of the older kits get that shape a little bit on the incorrect side. But from what I've heard, the Tamiya kit's nose is actually pretty spot on. So that's really good. We're going to go ahead and just clean up that front cowling, though. I wanted to make sure that we have all these little seams and bits kind of sanded down so it fits right onto that front nose area. We're not going to be able to install it just yet, though, because we have actually the two guns that kind of protrude forward there. So we have to go ahead and wait till that is all glued down, and then we can go ahead and finally glue down the cowling, and we can wrap it up. But we can actually install the air filter right here on the side of the engine. And I'm going to go ahead and install the desert filter because I really intend on doing the desert camo scheme. And that requires this particular filter. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Now the back part of it is the only part that actually glues into anything. And that actually glues to the fuselage. So the nose is kept pretty much completely unglued. Now we can go ahead and get in there and drop a little bit more glue here and there. But I think for the most part, a little bit of pressure. And this air filter will be on. Now, of course, when I want to come back and I want to install those guns and paint up the area, after that, I can just drop this straight down on top of it, and it should fit perfectly. So, yeah, we're looking great. Turning my attention back to the wings, guys, I went over to my references. As you can see right here, these are the underwing radiators. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a support structure right there in the middle of those underwing scoops. I went ahead and I tried to replicate that using some styrene. It's too thick. So we're going to have to redo that, but I've got another idea. We're actually going to be using some stretched sprue. Now I have some stretched sprue already kind of off in the side here, so we're going to take a piece of that. We're going to cut it down and fit it to see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So that actually works way better than the strips of styrene. That stretched sprue is just thin enough that it fits right in there and gives it a little bit of interest without being out of scale, at least, well, to my eyes. So I like that. We're going to go ahead and reproduce the same thing for the other side. Then we'll have that all squared away and we can move on to the other bits and pieces. Now I think with both of those underwing scoop support structures in place, this actually gives it a little bit more interest and makes it a bit more authentic. I like the look of that. But we do have to add in a couple of more, what I guess we refer to as grab bars, right there in front of the cockpit. That's one of the things that I need to go ahead and install there. It just gives it a little bit more character, a little bit more life to it. So that's going to be done the exact same way with some stretched sprue. I do have to be careful, though, not to put too much glue because I don't want to fog the front windscreen. I don't think I will, but I want to be really, really careful here. And I've got one already kind of set up here. We're going to glue it down and just tack it in here. It's going to go right along the inside of that frame. As you can see here, that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to make one more, glue that on the other side, and I think we'll be ready to go ahead and move on to some painting. So let's get this thing wrapped up for the day, queue up a time lapse, and push forward.
And we are all finished up for today. I've airbrushed all the little parts and pieces for the wheels. I went ahead and I airbrushed the center part flat black. I used a little bit of a custom mask there. The outer part, of course, is that tire black. So it's got a little bit of a gray appearance. But I think we are pretty much ready to go ahead and call this one quits for now. I also took the liberty of airbrushing the front engine, that kind of dark gray. We've got the front supports in there on the oil coolers. And we have the grab bars there in the back of the windscreen. So I think we're actually pretty good for today. A lot of extra parts and pieces to go ahead and install next episode. Hopefully we'll get some priming in and we will be looking sharp. But thank you so much for joining us today, guys. We'll see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds with Joe. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here on episode number five of the Master Smith BF 109. Thanks so much, everybody. See you soon. Thank you.